Welcome to those in countries around the world aboard naval ships at sea, and thank you for your service. Ball is up, game is on. And just really overall has been sensational. Broadcasters jinx in place, but Toom with the rebound. Kennard reloads and finds the Carter Williams, the 2013-14 Rookie of the Year. Puts up his first shot. Leonard to Zubats. Oh, ho, ho, rattles the street lamps out on Figueroa. And the Clippers in the lead by a dozen. Kiki back to Birch. He's got all six for the Magic. They've cut the lead now in half. Doesn't hurt when Kennard goes five for six. Batum to the rim and gracefully lays it in. 17 to eight Clippers. Bacon pulls up from the foul line and knocks it down. Looks inside to Jackson. Kawhi to the rim and lays it home. 19 to 10. Clippers out in front. That he, would, that he wasn't going to yeah. miss again. Yeah. I, I wondered about it. Mo Bamba is out there. And he knocks down a little mid-range. Uh, eliminating second shots opportunity by blocking out. Here's a zone right now that Orlando's trying to see if they can get the Clippers out of their rhythm. And what happens? Patterson knocks down a three against the zone. Coffee stops on a dime, lets it fly, and knocks it down as the brewmaster makes his mark early. And glances at the clock, accelerates down the lane, puts it up for Zoom. Oh, he flushes it in with four tenths of a second. An exclamation mark on the first quarter. Spliced in his own jams to show Zoo this is how you finish. He's taken the advice. Exhibit A, Your Honor, and Avica Zubats continues to punish inside. Those passes exact where the defense recovers. <laughs> wow. Bomba says not this time to Reggie Jackson. Bamba the other way put that in his highlight reel. It is brief, but that was an impressive sequence. Plays back to Zoo. Late in the clock is Terrence Mann aware. Picked up by Ross. Tough shot for Mann, and he gets it to fall. And that you have to create something when it's down underneath three, four seconds. Wendell Carter Jr. knocks down the three. Usually it's no sweat, no shoot. Be a tough change. And I went and asked him. I said, what, what's the difference? He says, man, I played a point guard all through high school. I don't know what they're talking about is Reggie Jackson. Amazing how many NBA players at some point were point guards early on their careers. And all of a sudden they hit like a six inch growth spurt. <laughs> and they're no longer point guards. Anthony Davis is probably the best example of that. He's come in and. He did a very, very good job in the, in the time that he got initially since he got there. Clippers going small. Reggie Jackson knocks down his... Fultz was finally <laughs> coming into his own. A big point guard with terrific ability as Kawhi Leonard hits the turnaround. Drives inside, forces it up wildly. Birch elevates and then lays it in. There have been 798 undrafted players in NBA history. Kiki to the lane. No rebound tapped up and in by Carter. No, Orlando only has five attempts, so. Kiki down the lane and down the hatch it goes. I don't feel like the Clippers have played all that bad. Leonard accelerates. Oh, and stuffs it in with a couple of hands. 48 to 37. 41, 51% beg your pardon, holding Orlando to 32. Kennard beats the buzzer and knocks it in with two tenths of a second. Oh, help. Backing down on Bacon. Ball fake. Oh, leans in with the left hand. Not there. Zoo battles. Taps it to Leonard in the Clippers. Recycle. Kawhi, look out below. So far, 7 of 11 from the field. Jackson. Hesitation comes up on the other side and lays it in. Reggie Jackson with 10. I'm done. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you liked it though. That's a good thing. Okiki with the steal, the drive, and the bucket. 55 to 43. No, I have no idea what it's going to look or sound like either. Carter Williams down the lane, a bit out of control, but gathers himself and lays it in. Uh, before the walkthrough for the Clippers, Pat Beverly, uh, Rajon Rondo were working out five on five full court. 
as Luke Kennard gets a friendly bounce. Who tries to tap it home? Not there. Midway through the third, and the Orlando Magic are doing everything they can to hang around. And then some. Bamba with his second three. Bacon back the other way to Ross. Transition three. Skids off the iron. Rebound goes to Carter Williams. And inside, Bacon off the window. Leonard wrestling around. Skips it to Kennard. Back to Kawhi. Free for three. Got it. And it scratches the Clippers right where they are. You have in moments like this as a team. Now is playing with a ton of confidence as Kawhi Leonard put that one in the highlight reel. Hampton zigs his way into the paint. Work it outside for the three. Okiki knocks it down. 67-62. Terrence Mann to the cup and flushes it in with the right hand picked up points in previous games because of our aggressive defense and that's steals we've come up with a number of steals you see the jumper go down by Ross that time man with both free throws puts the Clippers out in front by five Bamba inside right place right time coffee man behind the back high off the window no zoo the second effort is true Jackson also dangerous with the ball the lob or was that a floater it was it is short and back the other way Hampton coasting in for the score it's once again a three-point lead for the Clippers for the Denver Nuggets on Thursday Patterson a corner three and he knocks it in his second three for Patrick Patterson tonight would that be a coffee break the jobs are coffee for three and he knocks it in Porter juggles and recovers oh gets around the defense and lays it in and the Clippers can take advantage 520 to play man drives and dishes to Leonard accelerates runs over his defender a blocking foul is called count the basket Five to shoot into the paint. The floater is short. Rebound tapped up and in by Avica Zubac. He has 14 points. Ross accelerates, explodes at the iron. No, gets his own rebound, and the putback is good. Once again, it's down to six. They throw the hook back in the water to Leonard. Jackson makes the extra pass to Kennard late in the clock. Hesitates, but knocks it in. Oh, my goodness, what a shot by Kennard. Okiki knocks it down again. Carter Williams with nine to shoot. Met at the rim by Batum, overthrows the shot, rebound tapped up and in, count it and a foul. To cross the finish line, Leonard long on the shot, rebound chased down by Carter Williams, keeps the dribble alive, surrounded by jerseys and flushes it in. It's a two point game. Okiki for three in the lead. Rebound by Enos. The layup, no. Carter taps it in. And for the first time tonight, Orlando leads by two. Batum fakes the three. And the Clippers turn it over. Carter Williams back the other way. Gives it to Otto. Porter lays it in. Four point Orlando lead. Wow. Man in the corner for three. Got it! out right now don't let them get an offensive rebound after missing the previous two shots now the Clippers look to go Kawhi for the tie man with the rebound sends it back out to Jackson for the tie up for grabs loose ball taken by Leonard and taken back by Carter Williams and punctuates the finish. Was had to shoot down the low 30s because they were at 52 at halftime. They wound up. Yeah, well, I mean, didn't I, need, they didn't need Rondo, and Atlanta didn't need Gallinari. I agree. Right, I they agree did. on both of that. They just had money and was like, we got to spend it. Yeah, it was yeah, like, it was man, I, yeah. Instead of going to get some older vets, giving them a last run or two, you know what I mean? And like, man, I ain't nothing but 10, 15 minutes a game. You, you stealing. 
Yeah, yeah, but like you said, we talked about Rondo. I mean, I thought the Clippers should have signed him in the offseason, so I'm excited now that. That, he's, yeah. that he's landed there because that is what we've been saying all along. The Clippers need a leader, they need a point guard, and they got both in Rajon Rondo, so hopefully he comes back healthy. Yeah. And that playoff Rondo, that's, that's a different player than regular season Rondo. It's a different level of intensity and focus, and, uh, and that's where the Clippers lost it last year, so mm-hmm. we'll see if he can be the difference this year. We got can some I big games Can I ask a quick question, though? Week. Yeah, about, please. I mean, it's about, uh, about the Lou Will part of it. Like, Lou Will yeah, is yeah. gone. Lou Will spent a, a long time, I mean, in, in L.A. between the Lakers and the you Clippers. See, he was um, pissed. Did you see that, yeah, too? I mean, yeah, I, 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 I remember that. So he put on, he put he on said Instagram. He retired. Yeah, no, he put on Instagram that his last stop was playing for the Clippers. He said that about a month ago. And I remember I have a show called The New Show in L.A. where we talk to Clippers every week. And I brought that up to one of the fellow reporters, Cam Buford. And he was like, man, nobody wants to hear that. Like, he going to play wherever they tell him to go. And when he when he got traded, I literally was like, man, is Luke going to retire? Or, because that team is not a team that's really... Like, he did say my last stop is Lou Willville, though. ATL is Lou Willville. Okay. ATL yeah. Lou Willville. He said my last stop. I I I I did respect the fact that the Clippers yeah. tried to send Lou somewhere where I think he can be comfortable at. ATL is his home. Obviously, but they they're not can gonna... use him, bro. Exactly that too. That they too. Can they can use act... him. Yeah. They, can... they need they need that hybrid hybrid guard. Not right? ball so handler. When Trey Young is out, you can put the ball in Lou Will hands. And Lou Will can get you the same type of bucket passes, things like that. So yep. that made 